Hey, good afternoon, YouTubers. We got to the campground today. First time we had the camper out in a year, actually. Well, I shouldn't say that. We were out marching it. So we took it out. We're going to start about four months on the road. Um, got to the RV park or the campground here. Had a little bit of an issue with the water, with the inlet valve for the city water. And it was leaking kind of like a colander. So we tried to repair it, tried to change out the gasket. That didn't really work. So I went back to where we stored this RV. They actually work on RVs. They have parts in there, but they did not have the part I needed. So where the water goes in, that little, we'll call that a service inlet, the city water the onboard water they did not have that they did have that but they only had it to where two hoses went in I have three I have the city the onboard water and I got a small little hose underneath there you know if you can really see it that's my overflow valve or overflow exit or whatever you want to call it anyway so i was able to buy that part right there this is what i took out that was leaking it was just worn out probably 25 years old so i did take that out and i replaced it with what they had and it's not leaking i mean it's working it's not what i want but we don't have water going leaking on the inside and we don't have it leaking on the outside and we're squared away right now. So we have hot water, we can shower and everything. You know, it's 25 years old, much can be expected. It is what it is. Um, got the problem solved for now. So it doesn't look the best, but I can close the door after the fact and you know, we don't look like a bunch of hillbillies out here. But yeah, just a small little problem that all goes with it. Whether it's new or old, you're going to have problems with your RV. So just take it in stride and try to, try to fix it. You guys have a good day. Happy trails.